Oh, to be working on the waters. Hello, everybody. It's Scott here, and we are playing through Ship Simulator. It's available on iOS and Android, and I'm currently playing through on my iPhone. And what this game is, is a ship simulator. I know, it claimed it in the title, and that's exactly what it is. What we're having to do is build a nuclear power plant in the deep province. And the way we do that is we're having to transport all of the things all of the equipment, all of the necessary vehicles to do the building on barges because there are no roads. There is no transport infrastructure. The only way we can get to this swampy center where the nuclear power plant will be built is on these old tugboats. And so you've just seen me load up a tugboat. We've popped one of the bulldozers, was it? Yep, one of the bulldozers on the back, and now we are heading off. A little thing about the controls right now, on the right-hand side is the throttle. We press that to move forward. On the left is the boost button, and we want to use that in order to try to get over any waves and any crests. As you saw right there, I didn't really quite get over that swell, but as we come up again, there's gonna be another one here, so we press it just to get a little bit of speed so we can go over the top, because we don't want to damage the cargo, and we don't want to damage the ship. Because if I come to a stop right now, actually, no, I'll show you, as we go over this, if I don't boost, we don't go over, but then, did you see that little spark out of the connecting winch? That is the damage, that will cause some damage, it's not good at all. So let's go over the top of here, a little boost. Beautiful. That uses up some energy. As you can see, the left dial with the fire symbol, that is our boost dial. So as you'll see as I go over again, it uses it up so we can't keep using it. But there is a thermometer gauge as well on the left of that. As that goes up, we don't want it to get to the top because it's going to cause some damage. And you've seen, I've just came to a standstill right now. I'm just going to let the wave crash under us. Oh, no, I crashed into the back. We've lost two HP off of that. Never mind. In the middle is our overall health. It's not looking very good at the moment, but I did decrease the internal temperature by pressing the lever, the blue lever rather. Oh, let's go over the top there. Beautiful. And that helped cool things down a bit. If things get too hot, we're going to be in trouble. It's going to cause a lot of damage. You can see it's, we've got 1.3 kilometers left, so just got to try and get to the end. We've got to keep on going through at the top. That's our fuel gauge going down next to the jerry can. The amount of coins we've got, the amount of gold coins we've got, and also the energy. That energy is what we use to purchase the equipment that we are now transporting. This is a free-to-play game. There are some ads that pop up. Now and then, especially once we've completed a mission, I'm just going to bring this down. Here we go. We're at a lock right now, so let's move forward. We've closed... We've brought down one barrier rather and now let's move forward get into it so we can raise it again raise the water level and then open it the other side it is an interesting game i will say i used to live next to a canal i grew up next to a canal so i've seen a lot of locks i've seen a lot of barges i actually lived next to the eight locks which is a huge masterpiece of canal engineering apparently within Britain. I didn't consider it much, it was just where all the rats hung out because my garden was on the back of it. But anyway, so I have seen my fair share of canals and to be going through the locks, be going through everything like this, of course it wasn't massive tugboats, there weren't bulldozers going down them, but you could get a canal barge and go all the way to Asda if you wanted. So yes, there is a lot going on here. As you'll see, once we get to the end, then we'd have completed the first stage of the building. I'm only at the beginning of the game. This is the first quest. Oh, we need to bring down the heat. As you can see, my temperature gauge on the right, it went into the yellow right there, and our health in the middle started to descend. So put the throttle on. That's absolutely fine. Put the heat on. Oh, no, 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 no. Boost. I don't want to clang into the back. Got a little damage on the winch there. Once we get to the end, we can actually spend coins in order to repair the damage to our boat, which is really good because we're suffering a lot of damage right now. As you can see, we've only got 34 health left. Oh, crashed into the back. Six HP off the bulldozer. Oh, goodness, I'm so sorry. Okay, let's try and get through. 0.2k left. As I said, ads may pop up. So if the editing looks a little bit choppy, that's just me cutting around them. But hopefully once we get to the end... Here we go. This is the harbor. So I'm just going to slow down right now. Oh, wow. We are burning. We are burning. Yeah, I didn't want to risk it just to the end right there. We've only got 12 health left. Ouch. 
took my eye off it and didn't realize it overheated that much. We just want to be able to park in this little bit here. Bounce off the limiter. There we go. Didn't do too much damage. One HP off, but that's absolutely fine. Hunker down. More are up. Beautiful. 90% health. That's fine. We've managed to get some XP. We've managed to get some rewards. And we got a supply box. And that was quest one done. And this is where the nuclear power plant is going to be built. This is it right here. As you can see, it's in the middle of nowhere, really. There's no good roads, no nothing. We can't fly in the stuff. We can't drive the stuff in. It all has to be by water. These are all the different places that we can actually bring the stuff from. And we've completed stage one, the trench. We've used excavators, we've used bulldozers, and we have dug out the trench. So now onto sand cushion, we can click on quests in the bottom left and we can find all the different things. We need to bring a load, four pieces of sand and four big, I don't know, dump trucks are they? But just to show you the other things that are on here, the stages, clicking on that button you can see here, we can also rent different boats. So we have our boat, we can also buy it, but we can rent it for less money, but still you have to pay it over time. It's better to just purchase than rent. I wish I could do that in this housing market, but never mind. This is our consumables, the fuel, the energy. You can also jump into the shop and there you can spend real world money in order to get more coins, to get more energy, to get the silver, to get the supply boxes, the fuel, all of that different stuff. If you buy the gold coins, then you'll be able to buy the fuel and you'll be able to play longer, that type of thing. Very simple freemium mechanics right there. But as we jump into the second quest, we have to go to the warehouse to buy four pieces of sand. This takes the energy, as you can see here, it's gonna take 30 energy for each, but I wanna get all four, so 120 energy spent. There we go, all four pieces done. Let's jump into the quest, we can start that. Now, the first barge is free, right there, we got that barge there, but as you can see, we can rent a barge, we can watch an ad in order to get it, or we can just use it. The ship compatibility, this one with the smiley face, that's the one for us, and the way that we load things up, we have to control the crane on the conveyor. We move left in order to pick it up. So let's move right over to the left, just above it. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Bring it down. And then we press the blue button in order to grab and then bring it over. Or as you can see in the top left, it's just faded out a little bit, but we could watch an ad to load it automatically. But why not? This is, a, this is the fun part. I remember going to playgrounds as a kid and doing this. This is the fun bit. Here we go. Oh, I've messed a little bit of sand there. Let's bring it over and keep on loading it up. But yes, I'm going to keep on loading this up and then I'm going to hit the waterways. But for now, my friends, this has been Ship Simulator. Let us know down below. What do you think? Will you be having a go at this? Are you a fan of these simulation games? Let us know in the comments below. But for now, my friends, luck and wish you all and catch you next time.